Hey everybody, this is Midge, and I am live on air with Podbean. I don't have a guest because I'm just kind of testing this out, and we'll see what happens. But if you can hear me and you want to engage, feel free to do so. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you would do so, because <laughs> it's kind of weird doing this live, and we'll see what happens. I'm so excited to be launching my book, Gay with God, Reclaiming My Faith, Honoring My Story. And the most interesting thing of all is that even though in today's world, the LGBTQIA plus community is not always um, welcome on the mainline stream churches, there are, of course, some that are coming on and understanding that we are not an abomination, but other people absolutely don't understand that. Um, and the funniest thing is, and this is what happened just this past weekend, I was actually uh, beginning to figure out that not all gay people <laughs> approve of us either. So that is just amazing to me that um, I can be not accepted in the church, and I'm also uh, not accepted in some of our communities because it's been a very difficult journey for people to understand um, their faith and their sexuality. But tomorrow is actually National Coming Out Day, and I'm so proud to be fully inclusive within myself. Fully inclusive within myself means that I can be me. I am my brand, basically. I'm gay with God. I understand that being gay is who I am. I understand that being a Christian is also who I am. And so I don't want to ever, um, I just don't want to ever live in a box again. I don't want to have to squeeze myself in and not be able to be who I really am. So I was uh, joining a group, an LGBTQ group out of my hometown, and I was just seeing how that group was going to play out. And they were all going to the uh, fall festival here in town, and I shared a chat with them, and I wasn't able to go, but uh, they were trying to find a meetup place, and I helped them figure out where to go meet. And then... <laughs> They uh, forgot to take a picture of each other, and it was sad because, you know, they wanted to be together, and, and they wanted a, a picture, but they forgot to take it. Okay, fine. So I say into the chat, well, if you guys still want to do an event next weekend um, on the 21st, I'm going to be at Four Saints Brewing Company, and I'm going to be launching my book, Gay with God. Let's all get meet there, and I'll we'll take a picture together. And immediately the admin comes on and says, let's not bring religion into it. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I was just, I felt deflated, really, because how could you put me in that box? And I can remember my dad telling me one time that I couldn't come to our family reunion because he didn't want me to tell anybody else in the family that I was gay. So I didn't go to any more family reunions because I was not going to put myself in a box and I was not going to pretend that I didn't have a life. I do have a life and I am who I am. So if that goes against a church that is not loving and affirming and open, then I'm not going to attend that church. If I am going to join a group with other LGBTQ folks, I expect to be able to be accepted wholly as I am. If you're going through deconstruction, I accept that. I understand your pain. I know what you're doing, but I'm not going to not be me. I was not me for 30 years. And once I finally came out, I stopped hiding who I was. Now I'm careful. I'm not going to do something that's going to hurt me 
or go somewhere that that might be potentially really dangerous but I'm definitely not going to be put back in a box so I was very disappointed that I got the same feeling from this LGBTQ group in town that I got from my father all those many years ago the separated this is ism or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I just felt that I was being separated from everyone else because of who I was. And now it's, it's, I'm being separated from an LGBT group, group because I'm a Christian. And that just floored me. So on this, you know, pre national coming out day, I want to ask that, that we all, become loving and affirming to each other even though we all share some sort of form of the spectrum of sexuality that doesn't mean that we're like the stepford wives <laughs> we're not going to all dress the same think the same feel the same or be in the same basket as far as um religion goes or spirituality because even people in the same denomination can't agree on certain parts of their denomination so i hope more than ever that as we continue on through 2023 and we look toward the future i really hope that we're going to be able to at some point come together as a group to be more open and inclusive um, I know that there's bigotry everywhere, but I want us to be a little bit more compassionate with one another as we walk this journey of coming out and maybe reclaiming our faith. Not everybody will, but I did, and I'm still part of the LGBTQ community. And I hope that we can celebrate this, this day tomorrow of coming out and celebrate the launch of my book, my celebration to myself and my light for others who really did always want to stay in relationship with the God of their understanding, but they didn't know how to do it and didn't know that they could. And I want you to know you are loved. You will always be loved. Join me also on the Gay With God podcast where I honor the coming out faith journey stories of my guests. If you want to be one, please email me at empoweredmidge at podbean. Oh, that, that's the, <laughs> so that's the, okay. Empoweredmidge.podbean.com is where you can find the podcast if you haven't heard of it yet. And if you want to email me, email me at empoweredmidge at gmail.com. Thanks for sharing this live with me, whether you were live or whether or not you heard it later. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Happy, happy coming out day tomorrow.